Someone is, you feel like somebody sent from heaven? Or they look at you as you've been sent from heaven? Hey. What's up, Scorpios? This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Um, Venus and North? No. That was Keisha Cole on their um, sent from heaven. Um, in the middle of the deck, we got grief and change. Okay, someone wants a change and someone's grieving. All right. All right, what we got for our Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. For our pop up love messages for my Scorpios. Can't help who you love. Um, spiritual says somebody ain't no good for you, and you know they ain't good, no good for you, but you can't help who you love. Oh, Scorpio, oh, Holy Spirit, ancestors, you ask for the white light of protection for this pop up love reading for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for my Scorpio? Health, all right, the overall message is your health. I will honor the physical vessels that in, enshrines my soul. Okay. <sighs> That's the Bible. We're going to find out. At the bottom of the deck is gratitude. Be grateful, Scorpios. I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Okay. So, some of you, Scorpios, are probably getting more health conscious. Maybe um, probably healing from a recent breakup or something. Spirit just told me that. Um, you still think about this person. Maybe you're a little, still a little sad or depressed about the situation. And, you know, you're just probably having a hard time letting it go. But you are grateful for some opportunities that is presented itself. Maybe you have a new love opportunity that's trying to present, this, pre present itself. But you need to heal. Focus on your health. Let's see what's going on with that high honor. Yes, this could be regarding a marriage or some type of higher level of commitment. What else do we got for our Scorpios? Oh, got Sutton well. Okay. You might see this person as being very childish. Maybe this new sudden wealth is what you got gratitude for. Maybe you was suffering financially. Maybe you got some type of new abundance. Oh, yeah. There go the marriage card. Yeah. So, you see this person as being childish. Or you could be dealing with a child's mother or father. This is regarding a marriage or a contract with the high honor over here. Else we got what else messages we got for our Libra some type of gift so this is the hand of God some type of gift from God oh wow you are a gift from God or someone sees you as a gift from God that's beautiful That crazy. You are grateful for something. Oh, false person fell out in the reverse. Of course, we don't read Kepper in the reverse. Okay. You thought this marriage or this relationship was basically sent from heaven, and you can't help who you love. And. The divine is trying to show you something. You got a gift coming in or something being revealed about a person being false or lied to you. Someone lied or been wearing a mask in this relationship or this marriage or commitment. You're going to get some type of message, Scorpio. 
And it's going to concern you. And you're going to find out this person is a false person. And it's probably with the healthier I honor the physical vessel that embraces my soul. Yeah, so this might... This probably had you in some type of um, depression. But it looks like that in the end, you're going to be grateful for this information because it's going to help you to move forward on it with your life. All right. <sighs> All right. What else do we got for messages we got for our uh, Scorpios? Yes, temperance. You read, um, God's been healing this situation. We ran out of patience with this situation. You was looking for some answers. Look like you got the answers that you've been looking for. It's some got something to do with the child. Maybe somebody, maybe your significant other got another person pregnant, or it's a child that you didn't know about, or they've been lying about. Oh, sudden well, nine of swords. This information is. Someone's about to be rushing in with this information. Or oh, this is your current energy. Seems like to me, uh, Scorpios. <sighs> Look like this shit is coming fast and you're not even expected it. it with the uh, Knight of Swords. Or someone is coming in to speak some type of truth and you're not even expecting it. It could be... From this person over here that you are married to or in a higher level commitment. Um, this person is the queen of swords in the upright. So maybe you the one been childish about this situation, Scorpio. Apply it how it goes. But this person is willing to communicate and talk about this situation with this child. Mm. What's going on with this marriage card? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. What's going on with this marriage card? You have some type of new beginning or uh, offer a marriage. So someone could be rushing in, um, Scorpion. And you've been trying, you've been healing, um, you've been healing from a situation that regarding a marriage. Someone's rushing in, it looks like, to offer you some type of new love. The person you're watching this for was the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. You want some type of new beginning with your um, spouse or whatever, but... And this is a gift, but this person clearly doesn't see it. Seven of Pentacles. This person is focused on themselves. Or Spirit is advising you. This information that, this going, that you're going to give that's going to help you break free from this situation. And this false person... It's going to force you into healing, health, and you're going to be grateful. Looks like you're going to get some type of good. If this is regarding the divorce or a separation, you're going to get some, some news or some information that's going to be very pleasing. It's going to help you get through this. Um, any type of financial constraints you have with this. But it looked like someone wants to come in and talk to you and offer you some type of new beginning. Uh, marriage, love. Yeah, Scorpion. What's going on? They want to have an equal give and take. You feel like this person was breadcrumbing you or will breadcrumb you. And you don't believe that this person is going to be honest and upright. But with the Nine of Cups at the um, bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles, this person is husband or wife material. Um, you have been thinking about this. You've been enlightening. That's the truth. And, but this person, you see this person as a nine of wands, but they're coming in real fast with the four of wands. It looks like this is a positive reading. It looks like some type of truth came out about a child. This person is handing out an olive branch and want to, um, you got some type of new beginning. But why we got the six of pentacles and the false person at the end? Spirit is advising you and you had an opportunity to work on yourself, heal yourself. And this is a gift from God, a gift, a gift, a gift. 
this is some type of wish fulfillment for you, um, Scorpios. But they want to speak some type of truth. All right, let's go to the. Uh, I'm gonna clarify this. You gonna get? Some, you got some type of message of concern, and it wasn't that cool. I want to go straight. I, you know, I'm straight shooter. Let's go. Let's clarify this six of pentacles and false person. Thank you, spirit. Nine of pentacles. Yes. Uh, King of Cups. Yeah, this person holds back their emotions. You, because this person holds their emotions back, you don't, um, you don't believe this person. Nine of Pentacles. You're you single, self sufficient. You're in your pre empress energy. What else? Mm, got the Six of Cups and. Page of Pentacle, Ace of Swords at the bottom. I don't know why I feel so tight. This situation has been draining on your health, Scorpio. Mm -mm -mm. What else? The message? Yeah, you've been enlightened about something about a about a water sign. That was giving to someone else or giving to a false person, and now they want to come back and offer this love to you. How uh, Scorpios view this situation? What is Scorpio gonna do? You, uh, this person was manipulating you. You feel like this person is very manipulative. You want to put it? You put an ending to it. Who, who is this Nine of Swords? Oh. Yeah, this, this information that's coming in fast, this message, which is an opportunity for you to move forward and love yourself and a gift from God to move away from this false person that was giving to other situations to other people. And you've been fighting and arguing. You put an ending to all this fighting and argument. Okay, now I see what's going on. But you got some type of wish fulfillment and new beginning coming. Yeah. World card, the cycle. You're putting the close. You close the cycle out with this uh, earth, with this uh, earth sign that's been in the reverse with you. That have not been straight up. I think you find out about your somebody has had a child or got a child by someone else and been lying about it, and you've been enlightened about it. If if this not if this not regarding no type of marriage or situation, and this is someone that you had to put an ending to because they were I wasn't being honest, and they had you in some type of competition with the five of wands here with other people, you put an ending with this world card. It could be a child's brother or father, but they want to offer some type of olive branch and speak some type of truth and want some type of new beginning. But you're single over here, and you probably not really the same thing with Libra reading. You're probably not really trusting it, and you need to. And you're gonna tell this person that you need to think about it. Three of Swords, yes, third party situation. They're gonna come in fast and talk about this third party situation. Emperor Reverse, yes, this is probably with someone who was in a relationship and or married to someone. And they no longer want to be a part of that union no more. And they want to offer you some type of apology. This person could have lied about being married or being or the status of their relationship. And they know they broke your heart. And they've been dealing with a queen of cups in reverse. Celebrating with them, drinking and party, having fun. Da 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 da. But now they want to come in and offer you got the ace of pentacles again. Child, please. Yeah, you've been talking to your friends and family about this situation. Can we get some love, Oracle, guidance, or messages for my Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Yeah, you find out a truth about a baby or a baby mama or a child or something. It's got something to do with a baby or a child. Mm-hmm. Or if you're not dealing with this person and you're not in no communication, they probably recently find out about a child is not theirs and they're leaving 
a false person who they were giving to and breadcrumbing you for and they want to come offer you this love because they've been recently enlightened that you are their divine counterpart. Apply how it goes. It's a general reading. Uh, let's, let's see what we got here. Codependency, yes. Somebody got some type of addictions. Or a person you're watching this video but about us dealing with someone who got codependence um, issues. With this nine of cups, this person they're dealing with could drink a lot. I'd be glad when my karmic tales come here. But this is clearly a third party situation that you put an ending to. That you have been enlightened about. And you cut that shit off. For real, for real. Worth waiting for. Retreat. Forgiving and learning. Keep an open mind. Codependent. So somebody is codependent. Somebody been cut off. Somebody was hurt. A cycle has ended. Some type of truth coming out about a child. Spirit is advising you to accept this information. Or this um, truth that's coming out. As a gift. This is a gift or opportunity for you to love yourself and be single. Somebody want to offer a new beginning to a to an empress, a pre-empress. That's someone who's single. And it's the King of Cups. King of Cups is my castle man card. Who have been holding back and not showing their emotions. And they now want to offer some type of new beginning. Some type of higher level commitment or marriage. After discovering that... The person they was in a relationship and been fighting with is just not it's just not what's up. Where do I want to go? Oh, let's see the energy of this uh relationship or situation. The temple, the path. Yes, God is trying to show you a new path, Scorpio. And this is not it. Happy family, temple of path again. Scorpio. You need to look at what you have planted in this situation. All this fighting, all this manipulation, all this arguing, all this conflict needed to end. The truth is out. If it's about a child, you can't change the fact. The baby's here now. Whatever this is, and then once you release this false person... Spirit is telling me this, they're trying to put you on it. You got temple to path, temple to path, happy family in the middle. S Spirit is trying to tell you that they're trying to put you on a new path that's going to lead to your happiness. The person you were dealing with got some type of codependent issues or you got some type of codependent issues. And there's a third party situation. And with the eight of swords, you're going to find out about this husband and or wife that's it has been in reverse. Or they're going to find out about some of their spouse or a significant other that they ended and ghost you for or whatnot. Apply it how it goes. And they're going to come in and tell you about it. And try to offer some type of cup of love. Okay, so then let's go into this. If you are in non-communication with this person, Scorpio, what is the message? Just, ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> okay. So they saying... They're not coming in to see you. They're not going to pop up at your house. Or this is what uh, you want to say to them. The way we met was unreal. Okay. See if we can get some matches. Jeepers creepers. So this person's been popping up in your dreams. You've been getting messages about this situation. Probably about that third party in your dreams. And... You ended this bullshit. And um, the divine is trying to put you on a new path. Someone says they're going to make it up to you. Or you need to make it up to someone else. They're trying to offer you this ace of pentacles. And I'm going to take that. That's it. I don't love them the way they, they love. Um, Scorpio, if you're not in communication with this person. And they left you for someone. And that person ended up betraying and fucking over them. Somebody has a sex addiction. Yep. Someone has a sex addiction. The way y'all met was unreal. 
I need to tell you how I truly feel. I don't love them the way I love you. And they, they want to make it up to you. Jeepers Creepers, this person been coming to you in your dreams. And you've been kind of fearing that this person going to pop up at your house. But they say that they're not going to do that. I know I can't give you what you need right now. This person can't give you what you need right now. Because they are having some codependence issues. And it could be this sex addiction. Be grateful that you dodged this bullet, Scorpio. Yes, you will heal from this. Spirit is telling me you're about to head towards some type of wish fulfillment towards someone that's the king of pentacles. That's husband and or wife material. You are on this person's mind. Or they, yeah. And that's the truth with the ace of swords. And then we got the uh, nine of wands. It's coming in fast. It's new be, uh, beginning. You got to make a decision about what you want and who you want. Wow, Scorpio. Oh, you look like you got some decision to make. You need to cut off somebody that's very codependent and have some type of sex addiction. Addiction. All right. Let's see if we can get some advice from your angels or ancestors. Can I get some advice from my Scorpios? Can I get some advice card for my Scorpio? <sighs> communicate clearly. Someone needs to communicate clearly about what they want, what they need, what they deserve, and what do they expect. Any more advice cards for... Yeah, but yeah, I think spirit is trying to put you on a new path and which is going to lead to some type of happiness. But you need to heal from this three of swords and be grateful. I just heard you dodge a bullet. You got the clarification. You're whatever you was suspecting or thought this person would have been hiding from you is true. Choose a new direction. God damn it. Yep. Scorpio, the person you're dealing with got some codependence issues. You need to choose new directions. You need to communicate this clearly. Don't play around with it, Scorpio. This person's still dealing with some type of um, sex add addiction. And they can't give you what you need or what you deserve right now. And you need to keep moving forward because you got a ten of cups waiting on you somewhere. If you believe. All right, Scorpios. All right, thank you for visiting my channel again. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Yeah, somebody, you're dealing with a false person or you're going to find out this person was false and somebody been lying about a child or a pregnancy. And this person is codependent. They have a sex addiction. And this person may have been popping up in your dreams. You might fear that this person going to pop up at your house. But spirits say, don't worry about it. They're not going to come see you. And... This this current cycle has to come to the end. And you got an ace of pinnacle here. Someone, not this codependent person, but someone new that you've been flirting with. You need to be grateful for because this is some type of new beginning. And you got two temple of paths here. Scorpio, what you gonna do? You need to choose a new direction and make it clear about what you want. Amen. Amen. And you're going to get some type of information. This message is going to come in. You're going to find out the truth. Whatever you've been sus sus suspense about, about a child or someone childish behavior, it's, it's coming in. It's got something to do with a king of cups, too. It's a water sign. All right, Scorpio, I love you. Please like, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think. And thumbs up, thumbs down. Y'all know how it goes. Thank you.